Are your vibes high? Are your vibes high? Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Action! And welcome back to Bleacher Bump TV episode, I want to say 12, 11. Excellent. Or as we say around here, perfect. 11! 11! Uh, guys, obviously one of my all-time favorite numbers, and I've got one of my all-time favorite friends sponsoring this episode. It's obviously, it's Jim Graziano. And we got huge news for you guys. Flash the banner here. It's the 4th of July sale. We're doing beef kits, two for $20. All you guys got to do is go to tastereelchicago.com, two for $20 beef kits, 4th of July. Make that backyard party special. Are you kidding me? Maybe, maybe stop up on the uh, on the cupboard too, and there's no limit. I think that's two for 24, for 46, for 60. Don't make me keep doing the math, but you guys get in there, hammer those beef kits out. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, Jim. TasteRealChicago.com for sponsoring Bleacher Bump TV. Round of applause. Huh? Huh? Hey, good ad read to start the show. I'm gonna keep it with me. I love you, Jimmy. You're always there for me, man. You're always freaking there for me. And the Cubs, for the most part, of my life has always been have always been there for me. They were there, you know, when it's tough times, you go home, you get a beer, you just watch a game and just kind of relax and get away from life for a little bit. And now we're going through this thing where the Cubs were so good and we expect so much. And now they're so bad. We've been mad. I've been so mad. I'm way more mad than I thought I'd be in the show. There's 16 games under 500, guys. We get swept at home by the Padres, but then we bounce back two out of three against the Braves this past week. And it makes you wonder, it makes you question how much more of this can you take. So I took a step back this week. I invited one of my closest friends, Chris Bader, to join me on a man on the street little journey. We're gonna walk around Wrigley Field. We're gonna take it to the street, but we're gonna do it from the perspective of how Tom Ricketts wants you to experience Wrigley Field. Because after all, I think that's fair. He's the one getting most of the finger point and blaming. So I thought, what a good exercise. We can go up to Clark Street and we can hit some of the main big points, some of the big spots that Tom Ricketts has developed and brought to us. Chris Bader's a member of that community and a perfect person to go with me because we take in the sights and sounds of what we're kind of understanding to be the new Chicago Cubs. Am I missing anything? How's the intro so far? Cool, because this is a completely different Bleacher Bum TV. For the most part, guy, we're just guys, we're just going out to the streets to have some fun. If you guys want to know how bad we've been, they were two and six over, two and five over the last seven. And uh, like I said, 16 games under 500. The battle for dead last is officially underway. I think Cincinnati might be better this season. Guys, go check out a beef kit at tastereelchicago.com before we cut away to the segment. Without Jim, we don't have this. And uh, you guys know how important it is. Also, for The Voice, Omaha Carl, we're bouncing back. I appreciate your patience with me as we kind of get back to full strength. Uh, until then, let's cut to it. Let's go man on the street. Let's go talk to me and my boy Chris as we do with the official Tom Ricketts tour of Wrigley Field. All right, we out here. Can you hear me? It's super windy day. Wind's howling out to left field. I got Bader with me. You guys seen this guy's a local comic. You've seen him at stand-up, uh, doing Laugh Factory, Zanies, Comedy Bar, you name it, your mom's house. I got to know Tom Ricketts to beat Tom Ricketts to turn the Cubs around. I want to see it. I want to see what Tom brought. He brought a bunch of places that looks like a fucking Walmart out here. Tom, you built it. If you build it, they will come. Let's go see Hotel Zachary, Tom. Let's go. I got us a room. Where do we get a room at? Second floor. Are the rooms available right now? I'm not sure, but you make good luck. All right. Try to get lucky. Now, that was a bad joke. You're a comic, I'll tell you that's a bad joke. But, but, it's a good inquisition. Come on. Because what Tom wants is you to be able to walk off the street, get a hotel, you know, get a room here, 5.50 a night, so they can paint this in Hayward Cellar. Right, we're inside Hotel Zachary right now. We just got busted with the camera. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna play a little pool. I don't want any funny business with the camera. One of those guys look at you, but you put the camera away. We're gonna have a Manhattan. I'm gonna do this the way Tom Ricketts wants me to do it. Just follow me. Just follow me. You'll see how close we just see. By the way, by the way, I will say, very nice bathroom. I can like all the bullshit inside. Not a bad splash. If you can get closer, if you can be closer to the field. Remember this setting. Remember how close we are, the energy, the excitement, you feel being on this patio. 
And then let's just go see how fucking dead this place is. I just, I'm trying to prove a point here, guys. Uh, Hotel Zachary, thanks, Tom. I'm sure the rooms are nice, all that stuff. If you put a bar, like, steps away from the marquee sign, and that thing isn't absolutely fucking slammed, you fail. Next stop on the tour, the Tom Ricketts tour of 2000. Very important. Why'd you do that? Sorry, I... It's not our next stop. Destination number two, Swift and Sons Tavern, because it's been around like 140 years. Let's go to famous Swift and Sons established 2020. Inside Swift and Sons, we got the special couples booth right outside the marquee sign. Normally you have to pay extra for this at Swift and Sons, but not tonight, not Wednesday night, not the way Tommy Ricketts sets it up. French end review, a little crisp here, a little. You don't get to review the smells very often online, if ever. Bad first bite, a little burp. Bad first bite. We're gonna bounce back. Don't think it's natural. I don't think it's a natural. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you though. I wanna see more ooze and I wanna see less drip. More ooze and less drip. Score the French onion right now. Score it. We don't like this. We do not like this. You should never be able to do that. You should never be able to do that. Seven nine. Cause the flavor's there. Mm. Flavor's a distraction. And that's what Tom Ricketts wants from you. Will I give it a high score based purely on my personal resentment for where we're at as a Cubs scene? No, I won't. This is a 2.7. All right, four two Cubs down with Chase, and we did Zagger, we did Swift and Sons. The next logical question is, where do you watch the game to have fun if you're a friend of Tom Ricketts? Let's take it to Tom Ricketts' favorite spot in Wrigleyville. Follow me. We're out here at the brick house. This is exactly what Tom Ricketts wants. He wants a guy in New Balances with the fanny pack. He wants a guy like you. Be honest, you look like a sucker. A lot of people like Bader walking around town. Let's see if we can get in. Like a lot of things in Tom Ricketts, Wrigleyville, it's a cute idea. It's not very functional. By the way, total number of steps taken since we started this video series. 50? This is Tom's playground. His playground in the back of his billionaire alley of what he always wanted. As he wanted as a child, he never got it. So now he built it right around his little kingdom. And by the way, kings are dead. I know about kings. You know why I know about kings? Because I'm Iranian. My parents knew the Shah of I-R-A-N. No one ran anywhere. It's not, it's not Iran, it's Iran. And guess what, Tom? It's over they're overthrowing your kingdom monarchies don't work you know what works winning mother teams for the fans that's a good rant that's a good rant we came here looking for a good environment we got the rant said last stop on the tour uh we're outside the fudge shop conveniently called Killwins. yeah Killwins, which is ricketts motto kill wins that's why he let this place go up let the record show the cubs have not won a playoff series since tom ricketts put kill win kill wins in kill wins it's fudge it's what is droplet. fudge that's when people are like oh it's crude oil it's not actual petroleum like i don't i just use it in the form that you want me to use it in. a lot of that has to do with obviously the russia conflict with the ukraine you know and the price of no keep that in I just don't know if that's true. I wish we were talking about them being a wild card. Instead, we're just up here like, this is the Tom Ricketts store. It's Zachary Swift and Sons, the place, which has been bleeped out appropriately, and it's killed with it. Today's really Chicago.com for Jim Graziano. That's my fucking number one guy in Chicago. So there you have it. Uh, maybe a little bit more harsh on Tom than I originally anticipated, but it just goes to show you not everything's got to be fancy, not everything's got to change, but I'll be honest, some of the stuff is pretty good. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, subscribe to our YouTube, and I promise you the next time we talk, we have Bleacher Bum TV shirts. I'm mad at Eddie too. I'm mad at Eddie too. I'm mad at Eddie too.